going to say no to it. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey friend, welcome to my channel, Cat Eye Glamour, our little hangout where we can be the most glamorous versions of ourselves. If you are new here, my name is Marilyn and I'm bringing you all things beauty, fashion, glamour, lifestyle, all that, all that. Like, subscribe, just subscribe. Don't even worry about the song, subscribe. Okay guys, so today we are talking about setting powders. Um, I'm going to be, you know, showing you guys the setting powders that I have had great experiences with that didn't really cause flashback and uh, set perfectly on the skin. We're also going to talk about techniques on how to prevent flashback. So let's get into it. This was a requested video and I appreciate the request. I got this request on my foundation video along with um, a request to do my top concealer. So that's on its way as well. But let's get into these powders for right now okay now these powders are in no particular order really um i'm just going to be grabbing them randomly and i'm going to start with this one this is the laura laura mercier powder um this is a loose setting powder and this is the color dark um this i can typically use to set my overall face this can be used as a highlighting powder as well if you are a deeper uh skin tone um i did have the um the translucent one but that's all gone i used that up and that is a great setting powder this is a very lightweight very finely milled powder so it sets perfectly on the skin i love it you can lightly dust it to set your overall or your entire face which is i do that sometimes this is the color of it here all right and this is by laura mercier i am going to have the links to everything um below in case you guys want to check it out but I absolutely love this powder. This is a more higher end powder. So the price is a little bit up there. I think this is about $38 or so, but it lasts forever. Like the one that recently finished my translucent one, I had it forever. And that was the one that I used on clients. Um, so that is a perfect powder. This is a perfect powder. I absolutely love it. One of my subbies let me know that they're actually coming out with a honey one, um, a honey shade. So that's probably going to be a really nice golden type of color to set under your eyes so it's gonna probably cater to like medium deep deep dark skin tone so i'm here for that i'm here for that so let's move on to the next powder but this one yes girl if you want to splurge you can get this one all right so the the next powder that i'm going to mention is a powder that i completely underestimated this entire brand um i brought it because it was hype and i said you know what let me try this powder okay let me go ahead and try this powder and see how it works out for myself but i completely underestimated it and this is the kylie translucent powder did you call that yeah the kylie translucent powder okay and it's the color translucent i know she has a few different shades but i chose the translucent and girl this powder is so, I actually have that on right now. That's the powder that I'm wearing right now. And it sets and it melts into my skin perfectly. It doesn't just sit on top of it. But again, that comes with technique, which I'm going to go over, you know, a little later in the video. But I absolutely love this setting powder. It looks great on my complexion. It looks great on any complexion because I've used this on clients as well. And it works out perfectly, completely underestimated. This is the only thing that I have from her brand, really. But this is a one this is a great powder and i do not regret buying it at all love it and this is in the translucent um i've had it for quite some time it's kind of it's like halfway finished now but i've had it for a while um it's a i think it's a little less expensive than the laura mercier one but i'll have the information below so you guys can look it up and research it if you want to but this is a really great powder i was so asleep on it but i'm woke now i'm woke it works great Okay, so now this next part that I have is a little bit on the more affordable side, but it still performs well, okay? Um, and this is by ColourPop. This is by ColourPop. It is called their No Filter Setting Loose Translucent Powder, and this is the color Caramel. So it does have a yellow undertone, which looks really great on darker skin tones, dark, deep dark. So it sets my makeup perfectly, and it highlights me under the eye in, in like a golden, a very nice way. I absolutely love this powder. It did come with one of those little sifter things at the top, but I took mine out. So I just dipped my sponge or brush, whatever I'm using, right in that powder. And this does not get flashback. It looks gorgeous on my skin tone. It will look gorgeous on maybe a, a, cup, a shade or two lighter than me 
as well as a shade or two darker. So it's very universal in, in most uh, cases. If you're fit, pale or fair, then of course you wouldn't get this because it's too yellow. But I absolutely love that powder and it works perfectly, perfectly. It's affordable and it, the shade is just perfect to highlight your eyes if you like that little bit of, you know, yellow undertone, which it, yellow undertones look really good on, you know, dark skin. So that is another one that you can add to your list, girl. Add to your list, okay? Okay, now the next powder, I know I told you guys this is in no particular order, but just to be honest, this is my favorite powder out of the entire bunch. Um, and this is an affordable drugstore setting powder, and I absolutely love it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Okay, and I have the color Medium Deep, and they come in quite a few shades. All right, so this is the Medium Deep. This is more on the full coverage. This powder actually has coverage. So when you want that glam highlighted just you know ready to be out type of highlight or setting powder this is it i absolutely love it it looks so gorgeous and flawless and again it does have coverage i don't know something in this powder is very like i don't know how to describe it you may have to just try it to even get what I'm trying to say. The coverage is so flawless, so flawless. This is like photo shoot, special occasion, birthday. This is great, great setting. This is a great setting powder and I absolutely love it. And it comes in a ton of shades so everybody can get this powder. This is my favorite powder in the bunch. My favorite powder in the bunch. Maybelline Fit Me in Medium Deep. Okay, now this next powder looks so pretty in person, but I'm going to say no to pictures. Pictures with flash, I'm going to say no to it. Okay, no, 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 no. In person, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and that is the Too Faced Born This Way uh, setting powder. The color that I have is meat Translucent Medium. And this is it here. It's a nice, I don't know, this is more of a natural setting powder for me. It doesn't highlight me much under the eyes, but it does set it, it looks so flawless, almost like a filter. So this is the color here. This is how it looks. And in person, this again is gorgeous. Or if you are going to take pictures, do not use the flash because I've had a bad experience with it. Um, I have did it as a, t you know, I always test the powder. So I t I'll take a picture of it. And I did it one time, girl, and the flashback was so off the chain. Oh, my God. This is a no. If you're a makeup artist, I wouldn't recommend this for um, your clients because normally if you get your makeup done, if you're getting it done professionally, you're going to be taking pictures. But if you don't care about pictures and you just want to look good on a date, you just want to look good hanging out with your girls. Y'all not taking pictures. I don't know what group of girls that is. But if you're not taking pictures, then use this. If you're taking pictures, girl, put it right back on the shelf. But in person, it is a flawless, um, a flawless setting powder. And it's so finely milled. It has the smoothest texture. I'm telling you, you look like a filter in person. A filter. Okay? Who doesn't want to look like a filter? All right, so the next powder that I have is by... Pat McGrath Labs. It is her, it's a very long name. It's her Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. And it does just that. This does a really great job at blurring the lines under your eye. Whatever the ingredient is in this, it does give that blurring filter sort of effect. It has a little bit of a pearl finish to it. I don't know how she makes a powder matte, but then it has a like a pearl finish as well. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. And it's a great powder. I kind of like the fact that it's in a compact form. So if you want to kind of retouch, set under your eyes on the go, this little compact here fits perfectly in your purse. Um, there is a mirror in it, but it's really small, girl. You might get a headache trying to even look in it, because I know I do. It's a very small mirror. This is it here. Sorry, it's a little dirty. It's, this powder is pretty dusty. But it's a very small mirror, and you can take this in your purse. It's super small, and it is going to last forever because it's, very finely milled and it's pressed 
and I love this powder. This is a really, 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 really great setting powder that looks gorgeous and very natural in person. And again, it blurs those lines. So this is a go, okay? It's a go. Okay, so now that we've, we've went through the list of recommended setting powders, now let's talk about technique because technique is a big deal as far as you not getting flashback. And my number one technique that I use most of the time when I put setting powder on is with a sponge. Mine's is dirty because I did my makeup, but with a sponge that is damp, not wet, but just a little damp. So you run this sponge under the under your faucet and you squeeze all of the excess water, like squeeze until nothing else comes out. If you have to like wrap it in a napkin after you've um, wet it and squeeze it to get the extra water out, definitely do that. And what I do is while it is damp, that is what I set my um, under eye with. And because there's moisture in this, it kind of helps sink the powder into your skin and not allow it to kind of sit on top because when the powder sits on top of your skin that's where you typically get flashback because it hasn't really blended in and it hasn't merged into your skin another thing that you do when you set it um of course you want to spray a nice setting a nice setting spray like this is my favorite setting spray this is by morphe and this does a really great job of taking away that powdery look and making everything, all of your makeup kind of melt into your skin and look as natural as possible. And when you go to take a selfie, girl, when you take that picture, you're going to be popping, okay? You're going to be popping. Another thing that you can do to further um, set the under eye, just to kind of, you know, prevent that flashback because no one wants that. You don't want a cute picture that you have all that white stuff on your eye. No one wants that. What you can do is spray a little bit of the setting spray on your sponge like that. And then you go in, once the setting powder is already on your face, you go in and still kind of like just press it in like that. Just press it in and it sets that powder and it kind of soaks up some of the, um, the excess powder. So that way you don't have that little issue with, you know, flashback. So that's a really good tip. Look at me, I'm just a child. But I love doing that, and that's a really great tip. Now, if you want more of, let's say, like a natural setting, I mean, like a natural finish to your setting powder, you don't want to necessarily highlight or bake or anything like that. You just want to set the concealer, and you need it to be natural. You would go for, like, a brush similar to this. It can be a little bigger. I'm just going to get something that I can show you guys how to do it. Let me use my... Let me use the Pat McGrath one. So I'll just take, just tap it a little bit and then you tap off the excess. There's a lot of excess. You tap off the excess and you just literally dust it under your eye, like dust it, like so. Dust it just to kind of set it, okay? And literally that's it. And you just make sure you buff it in, that way there's no excess powder. Cause again, we're trying to prevent flashback so you just kind of like buff it in and make sure there's no excess okay so once you buff that in then you go in you go in with your setting spray and you just spray it and try to find a setting spray that has a nice mist to like a fine you know like a nice fine mist so you just spray it and once that dries in or dries down there's no flashback. There's no flashback. I promise you, boo-boo. I promise you, boo-boo. <laughs> There's no flashback. All right. So that looks so gorgeous. I love that setting powder. I absolutely, not powder, the setting spray. I love the setting powders, but the setting spray is what I was just talking about. But I really love the setting spray. It sets it perfectly and it gives me the nicest skin-like natural finish. And I absolutely love that girl i love it okay beautiful people that is the end of the video i hope you really enjoyed it i hope you found it informative and you know hopefully if you try any of these techniques they work for you and they will work for you listen like i said i told you boo i told you there's no flashback there's no flashback okay so make sure you like this video be sure to subscribe if you have any questions always leave them below like i always respond Feel free to ask me whatever questions that you need. It is not a bother. I actually like it. So leave any comments below, questions below. Again, make sure you subscribe. Like, please.
click the little button and hit that bell too because you want to be notified every time I upload a video, okay? My schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. There's been a couple Wednesdays that I miss, but that won't happen often, okay? So I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!